The focus of this lesson is on using the rules of logarithms to evaluate. And the first rule that we're going to look at is the product rule, which basically says if you take a logarithm of a product of two numbers, then that is the same as the sum of the logarithm of those numbers. And the quotient rule, which is our second rule, says that if you take the logarithm of the quotient of two numbers, that is the same as the difference of the logarithm of those numbers. And the third is the power rule, which says that if you have a logarithm of a number raised to a power, then that is the same as that power times the logarithm of that number. And so the best way to kind of see this is in action. So I'm going to go ahead and do a couple examples here. So the first is we have log base 3 of the square root of 3. Well, if we rewrite that with powers, so not using any of our rules yet, that is log base 3 of 3 to the 1 half, because we know that the square root is the same as being raised to the rational exponent 1 half. But then now that if we use our power rule, we can go ahead and take our power down out in front and multiply it by our logarithm. And we should get a, an equivalent result. And then the nice part is we know log base 3 of 3 is 1 from our properties that we learned in 4-2. So this is 1 half times 1, which is 1 half. In the next example, you can see that we have 5 raised to a sum of logs. So it might be more helpful if we can kind of condense that down using one of our rules. So we'll just kind of start off uh, with the first part. It says 2 times log base 5 of 3. Well, we could use the power rule to pull that 2 up in the exponent. So this would be log base 5 of 3 to the second power, and then plus log base 5 of 2. But then notice that the sum of the logarithms are of the same base, so that means we can combine them into one log. So if we keep our log base 5, so that didn't change, but instead of splitting that apart, we put it together as a product. We could use our product rule. So 3 squared we know is 9, and then we're multiplying that by the 2. So this is 5 log base 5 of 18. And then we have uh, exponential base 5 and a logarithm base 5. We know that those are inverses, and we're left with our x, which in this case is 18. And then last, um, we do have log base 2 of 160 minus log base 2 of 5. Those are logarithms of the same base. We have a difference. We can condense that down into a quotient. And so this would be log base 2 of the first number you see, which is 160 divided by the second number, which is 5. So this is log base 2 of 32, which you might not know offhand, but 32 is 2 to the fifth, so you could rewrite it as such. And then you could see you're taking log base 2 of 2 to the fifth. And then um, there's a couple ways to handle this, but you could pull that 5 out in front as a multiplier times your log base 2 of 2. And then we know that log base 2 of 2 is 1, so this is just 5 times 1, which is 5. 